Look at how pure and innocent. He's just wagging his tail. He doesn't even know what the fuck is going on. I could be like, Bear, fuck you. I fucking love you. But you're a little fucking bitch. And he doesn't even know. But you're not a little bitch, and I, but I do love you. So he's like, you. I heard the word love. <laughs> That's all that matters. Look at him. Now he's going to just lay down, be a good boy. All right. And Peeps that are, do pay attention. This is episode 180. <laughs> 179. Lost in the ether. We don't know where it went. but oh, We know where it went. Episode 180. We know where it went, all right. Because oh. really, in all reality, now that I know what where I fucked up, we could have saved it, but... I reformatted the SD card and it deletes everything off the oh. SD card when you reformat it. Well, Eric ruined it. I didn't ruin three. it. I'm just learning. It took still. three takes. <laughs> I'm, three. Oh, but that was just fucking. That second take was the one too. It was. I was in my bag. I was talking my shit over here, fucking spitting that knowledge, the wisdom yeah, that the third, I. The third takes so. up. Yeah, but which so whatever. I mean, in all honesty, you know, I'm not too it is upset it is. about it because it did kind of suck. So. I guess I really shouldn't have deleted all the topics, but whatever, did that already too. Okay, pretty much recap: the Bills fucking suck. The Eagles are the best. That's not that was the recap of what that our episode. conversation was. <laughs> but anyway, moving on, moving on. The Eagles got their uh, asses whooped last night. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. But you know, happens to the best of us. Jacob knows about that. Mm-hmm. So, you Rats know, are the best too. we see, um, we'll see the Niners in the postseason and it's not going to be the same story. We're going to wax that ass. So I ain't even worried see. about it. All right. Episode 180. Um, don't, don't know what the title up. will be, but I got some thought provoking questions for you. Thought provoking questions. We'll you go with, for that shit. We'll go with the first one. What do you believe the purpose of human existence is? I've already said that before. It's to fuck and die. <laughs> Make so babies th- and die. <laughs> so you think it's just to repopulate? Like basically... That's like, what every living thing does. Every living thing lives to pass on their genes. But you don't and, think there's a deeper purpose besides just passing on your genes? Gene, your genes. You don't not think really. Like you're born to do something? Not really. This what, was, what are this we born wasn't on to, my question. What are we this born to do? I mean, you tell me. What is your what know. is what do you think the purpose of life is? Um, I think I'm, the purpose of life cuz I'm looking at it from like just like life in general. All life has in common that they're looking to reproduce and pass on their genes, pass on their DNA so they're you know that lives on. Well, and survival yeah. and all that shit, all that you know natural shit. You know, if you want to get into like more spiritual stuff and like things that are more seem to be man-made things you know man-made ideas man-made thoughts and things like that you know well just thoughts in general i mean yes they're technically you know man-made but for each generation and each person that's born has their own ideas has their own way of thinking so like how we've said before i mean this is gonna be on the internet forever so for as long well after, how, for however long the internet is up is until true. it's not up anymore. This is true. And then so, it ain't shit. It's just like every other memory boom. faded away in the ether. I'll be damned. <laughs> but I think the purpose of life, besides you know make you know reproducing, having children, is also teaching your uh, children like right the right values and stuff like that. And I mean, granted, every person gets taught something in their life, but then it's their choice on what teachings they're gonna apply to their own life. So it's just like. What message or what message could you portray to, you know, that you would want to live on, basically? But that's, again, that's... I mean, I'm sure, but it's not, like, a purpose on that's, Earth, though. That's man-made stuff, though. Yeah. Because Our purpose it, it's on not Earth like... might be just to, you know, show glory to God and the little bit of life that we do live, and then for eternity, go spend it with Him. Because life is such a short part. Like, to think people get so wrapped up in, like, these, you know... Granted, we've only, I've only been around for 28 years, but we only get like the average, I think, is like 82. Something like that. Something like yeah. that. 82 years on this earth is the average life expectancy. And that's a fucking bleep. And that's, that's, that's a blip on the radar, yeah. baby. That's like if it's you're lucky. there and then it's not. <laughs> yeah, that's if you're lucky. I mean, think about it. Anyone who's watching this or listening to this, think about what you did two years ago. <laughs> like you blink twice and it's two years past. Sometimes so, it's like, did that even fucking happen? Exactly. So it's just like, <laughs> what the hell? So, I mean, I feel like we're here maybe for, like you said, if it is for a spiritual reason, it could be just to, you know, praise God and hopefully pass on those messages and then we die. 
we're done. No one remembers us. So, yeah. well, and that's the thing too. That's where it's kind of like where from what lens are you looking at it from? Because again, like you know, if you're looking at it from like a uh, humanity societal standpoint, like what is your purpose? I mean, there's so many things that you could be good at. There's so many things that you know, we are good at. Just people have so many different talents. Yeah. It's just, you know, we have it to where in society you can only really become successful and really master and not even society, just naturally. You can only there's only so much time you can put into certain crafts to become a master of it. So then, you know, and that's a master 10,000 hours, something like that. Something like, yeah, yeah, you know, that's when usually you, you know, you're at an elite level of doing something when you log in your 10,000. But <clears throat> but that even then, that's like, you know, that goes into such a deeper like there's people that are more naturally gifted at things. There's people that have to work harder to unlock certain talents. So then is that what you're basing your purpose off? Is that what you're talented at and what you're good at? Is that what you base your purpose in life in? Or is it something more like to where, you know, my purpose in life, you know, just as an example is to be kind to people and, you know, pass on a right message. But then, you know, is like, is that, is that more or less than somebody who has a great talent that's, you know, helping, you know, mass people at one time or, you know, so, yeah. you know, it goes into a lot of, that's what I'm saying. It's thought provoking stuff. <laughs> so, I mean, like I said, for me, for, and I guess I do this more just to kind of le- keep my, that part of my life simple because obviously, yeah, I still think about those type of things and it's fun to think about. But for me, I just, we're here to fucking just like every other living thing in this world, we're here to go find a mate, whether you're a worm and you fuck yourself, your flowers self-pollinate, or you got to go find a partner or, or whatever it is to go reproduce, make another living thing to pass on your genes. And then once that's it, then mission accomplished. Yeah. And then, you know, whatever else, whatever other icing you want to add onto the cake is what, you know, to your cake is what it is. And I mean, that's just, you know, how the question was even formed. It's a thought provoking question. Like, it is to everyone, and I'm sure everyone you would ask would have a different answer for you. Yeah, there's a million different because answers for that. That everyone has a different opinion on. Because what really, they at the end of the day, who knows? Is. Who does know? Because maybe we, Nobody. you know, that's why people were gifted with the ability to use a higher percentage of our brain to create a lot of these things to push things forward. But again, that's only really beneficial to us. And we have helped. You know, you help other animals with you know veterinary stuff, and you can our our advances in medicine has helped things around us, but we've also done a lot of damage and sped up a lot of the process of things. Yeah. You know, so we kill, we mass murder a lot of animals. Yeah. But at the same time, then you have like the other side of the spectrum of people were like, Oh, vegan this and vegan that, whatever, or eating certain shit that kills just as much living organisms. And that's just the natural order of the world too. Like, do I believe in like global warming and stuff? Yes. But I don't believe it's strictly because of humans. I feel like we are affecting it. And like I said, speeding up the process of certain things and making things happen that maybe would have taken, you know, a couple more hundred years or, you know, and there are certain things that we are doing to damage the environment. But I wouldn't say it's strictly on us, because if you look through just the whatever timeline we have of the world, like we have gone through global warmings, global freezings, fucking ice ages, mass extinctions of other species of animals and shit like that. But I feel like us as people have had the most effect on our environment as as any other species that's ever lived that we know of. But that's going off on a tangent. <laughs> yeah, that's for Thursday. <laughs> our conspiracy episode. Because I, I was about to go on my own tangent, but I was like, never mind. I'll save that for next time. <laughs> um, if you could witness any event, past, present, or future, what would it be? Any event, past, present, or future. Do you have one in mind? Um, There's a few that come up. Yeah. Like, I mean. The dawn of time. <laughs> correct. Like, if, if you want to go biblically, I would be like, when God created the earth. Or when Jesus was born, you know, that would be like, oh, shit, to witness. Sorry mm. that I had that in the same sentence. That said <laughs> that. I apologize. But it would just be like, oh, like, yeah. Dude. You know, <laughs> Holy like, cow. Yeah. <laughs> sweet and, baby Jesus. <laughs> then, <laughs> literally, sweet baby Jesus. Um, or if you want to go like. Seeing dinosaurs would be kind of cool. 
That's like some fucking. I, I feel like that's some elementary ass shit, but for that's real, gonna be in my. That was gonna be in my conspiracy theory episode. Seeing some dinosaurs um, or seeing if dragons. What if dinosaurs? What if dinosaurs never were a thing? And we're just fucking. I mean, there's no hundred percent fossilized dinosaur anywhere in the world. Any museum that's not a hundred percent of the bones they found, and like the why I even say that is because you ever seen like a skeleton of a rabbit? Yeah. And then, like, what a rabbit looks like versus the skeleton. Mm -hmm. Completely different thing. Yeah. So, it's like... Well, yeah. I mean, a lot of that shit... Yeah. They're just creating this image off of what they think it would look like because of the structure of the... So, we know... So, So we know those... could that be? Yeah. We know they existed, but it might... Yeah. I don't know. I mean, they. I'm sure there's some type of way to. Well, that's what we think. Identify. We think it was dinosaurs, but who who knows? Maybe but I mean, it was all a dinosaur is is just a giant fucking reptile. So no. you know. But what if they maybe were maybe they're able reptiles or not? They were reptiles, but what if they were you know like fish or something? I don't know. Yeah. Like I mean, what if they lived underwater the whole time? There yeah. was dinosaurs that lived underwater the whole time. See, oh, you need just, to brush up on your animal, on your dinosaur it's a, history. It's just a crazy, crazy thing. But I mean, crazy I get what you're saying about. too. I get what you're saying though, because like, it's hard to, you know, you let your imagination run wild. If you have like, if we if we skin ourselves, our skeletons look pretty much the same. Yeah. But like, we look completely different. Correct. So, so like, I get like, what you're saying, but so like, that, and then there's also, again, there's also the, there's two different, very different. Um, Schools of thought. Schools of thought and ages of the world. Biblically doesn't say the earth is as old as science says, claims the earth is. And so it's like, because the earth has only ever been around for thousands of years, biblically. Well, no, because they have BC before Christ and yeah, but it's still only thousands AD. of years. Yeah, but AD is after, after death. death, but before Christ. I mean, but listen. Still, the timeline is still only a couple the bo- thousand years. But the years. bones are still there, so they have to come from somewhere. Correct. The but, fossils are still there. But they claim, you know, millions of years. And it's like, how does someone determine that? I get science is crazy. No, there's people smarter than us. That of course. <laughs> of course. I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm the smartest <laughs> guy in the world by any means. But I'm just like, what determines it? Like, I'm sure I could go- research a little bit more and it would show me, like, how they get that. Go ahead. Google I it think, right now. I think what it mainly is is just like. How do you determine how old a fossil is? Let's, where's my phone at right now? Right Keep on going. Here, buddy. So it's just like that That gets my mind racing because it's like, what do you believe? <laughs> Again, that's what it really is all in. And what and do then, you believe? And then so when you go, you know, the biblical route, then you're like. All right, what is all these things that the world, you know, throws on you or throws at you? And it's just like um absolute dating is used to determine a precise age of a fossil by using radio or uh, radiometric dating to measure the decay of isotopes either within the fossil or more. More what? More what? Uh so yeah, there you go. See, I knew there was a way. I knew we learned this in school. I just fucking haven't been to school in years. But yeah, that's what I, that's what I'm saying. It's but like, again, I mean, like I'm also the same way. Like, how do we know that though? Like, how yeah. do you know? How it can you determine? Be... But I'm also like half the time thinking I'm living in a fucking simulation, anyways. Like this shit ain't because, fucking real anyway. Well, so then, then I get I'm, to I'm the questioning same, shit in my head all the time. Then and I like, get to the same. Let me not uh, go off, on like, like or just. Like, I feel like, like a kook when you sometimes. think about history. When you think about history. History is written by the victors. Yes. So it's like, what and the people, fuck? And are people really are naturally you know? manipulative. So, so like, they're like, going to write it in how this Exactly. Like, yeah. So who knows what the fuck's happened in life hey, listen, or what's been going we on? We only know what we know. You but only we know what you we know. know. <laughs> and that's the we thing. What do know you know? We think, like, we think we know these Boom. things, but we don't know them. Well, I mean, there's certain things we know. We know that the grass is green. We know that... We think that, but what if green wasn't <laughs> even that color? What if you see blue as green and I see green <laughs> as blue? <laughs> it's just one of those But we things. all think we're talking about the same Correct. thing. Correct. Everybody's uh, like, the grass isn't greener <laughs> on the other side, but it's like, what if that's not even green? <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, we just You would have thought we take colors. drugs at before we... <laughs> Honestly, this is a completely sober up. I'm drinking water. <laughs> like, I mean, I smoked a little bit, but damn. <laughs> like, this is just a normal episode. <laughs> 
but shit. You bro, you know what's wild? Right now. You know what's wild, bro? I was literally thinking about that like two or three days ago. Like really an in-depth fucking, I fucking fucked up my back not too long ago. So I was spending a lot of time in bed rehabbing and just kind of resting. So your mind just kind of naturally goes off. And I literally was thinking, it's like, what if I'm seeing green as green and somebody else is seeing as green as another color, but they're seeing it as green in their head. So together we agree that this is green. They think it's green, but it's like they're really seeing like brown. <laughs> yeah, and like you're seeing like, green and you're like, what? It's like, uh, yeah, bro. Life but is fucking weird. That's what I'm saying. So it's just like a lot of things <laughs> confuse the shit out of me. And I'm just like, I don't know what to think. And this is why we have a podcast and we're not here fucking yeah. saving the world or building <laughs> engines and shit. Like true. <laughs> true. I'm not an engineer by any means. I do know pretty well uh, how to construct the house. Shit. Though, but hey, I'm not I, a full on do you even know, though? Are you yeah, sure I you know? <laughs> I know it ain't gonna fall. I could, re- uh, I could be fuck. confident in that at least. That is quality. In my framing skills. Yeah, I can't build a fucking house. That shit would but, topple over in a matter uh, of moments. But um, yeah, that's just like I'll cut some green grass for you though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it was like a, or if we go okay back to the question, if you could witness any, yeah, you'll be here any fucking event, contemplating life, past, present, future. <laughs> What would it be? Um, all right. Let me see. I don't know. I guess dinosaurs. Let me see them building the Great Wall of China or something. Like, you Fuck know. the Great Wall. Or the going fucking the Taj pyramids. Mahal. Or the pyramids. There you go. Answer the fucking question. Go. go to Egypt when that was happening and oh, find out how shit. the fuck those things were being built. There you go. That'd that was be, actually that'd fucking. That would be a great one right there. <laughs> Way to think on your fucking toes, yeah, bud. That's, that's the one. There you go. Find out how that. Because that's the question. <laughs> You know what's funny though? You ever seen like comedians talk about it? About, I saw like, the fucking what's his name, something Griffin, Eddie Griffin, that talks about like the pyramids, and yeah. they're like, "There's pyramids in Mexico, and no one questions how they built those motherfuckers." Well, because it's just like it's just some wild shit. But yeah, I would go. I would say definitely like if I'm going biblically, see how God made the world or J- Jesus, the dawn of time, and then also in the past, I would check out how the pyramids were built because that's just always fascinated everybody um or yeah i wouldn't really care about any event in the present i feel like in, i mean there'd be like cool things that happen that it's like oh that would have been cool to game go to. seven of the 2016 nba finals I'm going to go see the eagles win, win their first super bowl that'd have been cool going to watch that shit live would have been lit but yeah. but that's the thing I don't really get FOMO like that like I watched it on TV and I got my experience from it and like whatever like but like I don't get FOMO from fucking oh my god like I should have been there yeah. and I'm just like all right well I wasn't my life will move on yeah it's like I don't, <laughs> I don't care yeah, I, don't, I don't dwell <laughs> on things long enough to care about that and the future I don't know if I would want to see I guess I'm I would want to see, see the, the future, future you know in like a hundred years or something just to see how like my grandkids grandkids look. Like, are my, are my genes very dominant? Bro, what if like, you go 100 Egypt? years in the fucking future and it's just a fucking barren wasteland? You never know. Of apocalypse. Well, we ain't going to be around, so. <laughs> oh, shit. Not with what we've done. That was a quality <laughs> segment right there. But Next. There you go. All right. Um, I feel like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back to this question. That's a good one. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, if, you could er- uh, if you could erase one society norm or expectation, what would it be? One society norm or expectation. Um, you could just get probably rid of it. the f- it's out of here. Um, material things equal success. I would get. I would get rid of that. Okay. Because that shit's annoying to me, especially like especially now it is. Yeah, and especially you know how I am. I fucking think. I mean, we talked about this on the last podcast. Money fucking money is nothing. fucking dumb. We're moving to cryptocurrency, and that is literally digital that shit's not even there so like yeah. all that superficial shit is dumb to me like i understand the allure of it and like shiny rock theory yeah how you know how it you know things can what's it called um magnify your happiness but they don't necessarily give you happiness so and i but i feel like we're so far gone into that mindset of like things make me happy that you know we're just so removed from actually being happy within yourself that that's probably the one thing I would that's yeah that's that's an easy one for me how about you um if I could erase a society norm or expectation is like you having to have life figured out by like 18 
because it's like shit that's when life is I just mean, starting I still <laughs> i still i mean where i hear i've questioned the last 20 minutes of my life <laughs> so it's like i don't even know i'm 28 years old like i've had a decade to deal with this shit and i'm still oh, thinking of like shit. what the hell <laughs> granted there was that study that said you know you're not a full gr- you're not a real adult until you're like 30 yeah i saw that but it's just like yeah i've been paying all my own bills for too damn long <laughs> it's like i'm an adult but do i agree with it i don't know being an adult blows yep adult team freedom sex. is comes at a price freedom comes at a price well funny everything you, does funny you say freedom I'll, freedom I'll jump i'll jump to a different question oh here we go when nobody wakes you up in the morning and nobody waits for you at night and you could do whatever you want would you call that freedom or loneliness If you're just living life, you know, on your own, you're doing whatever the fuck you want. Nobody checks up on you, like Nobody checks no, up on no you. texts or nothing. Nope. No one texts you good morning. No one texts you good night. You're just doing whatever the fuck you want. I was about to say, like, I lived a majority of my life like that, but like, I would have things fucking hitting me up, texting me. My family hitting me up, texting me. Not every day, obviously, but. Um, Did you feel lonely though? No, I mean, I there's been but times. Did you feel like that was freedom? I gotta ask yeah, this. I mean, yeah, I, I feel like waking question. up when you want and going to sleep when you want, like That's just to put like uh, just to put like a fucking whatever fucking scope on it, a fucking end the beginning, whatever. However, you, I know I'm saying this wrong right now, but like just to put a scope on it, I guess yeah, I would say that's freedom. I don't necessarily think having not having people hit you up or having people hit you up is has anything to do with being free or not. That's I think the way that you go about living your life and how you man like build your relationships and manifest them that's more of loneliness but you have people that are disciplined as shit that you know are um, even little kids little kids are told when to go to bed fucking Mm -hmm. told when to wake up and they're the most loved so it's true (laughs) that's when i read the question and got asked the question myself i was like me being able to do whatever the fuck i want like granted i never thought it was freedom you know i wasn't like oh me wake me waking up whenever I want or going to sleep whenever I want. Yeah, that's like I choose. I have the freedom to do that. Yeah. But I don't think of like just going about my normal everyday life. If I didn't have, you know, a significant other or someone texting me, I didn't think I was lonely during yeah. those times. Me either. Like I never, I've never felt like quote unquote loneliness. Granted, I feel like if I didn't, maybe because our friend group's always been pretty close knit yeah. though. We've all hung out and shit like that. Yeah. So maybe if I... Like, for example, when I was in Washington, that's a good example. Because I was by myself yeah. <laughs> all day, every day, seven days a motherfucking week. Like, the closest friend I had, Ray, hour and some change away. Closest other people were, you know, Acquaintances. phone calls. <laughs> like, I didn't, well, I didn't have anybody else. It was Ray and phone, my phone. Like, that was it. Yeah. Um, did I feel lonely out there? Occasionally. But, like, it was more of... I wouldn't even say lonely. I was just kind of bored. Like, I was like, eh, I ain't got really shit to do out here. Like, <laughs> like I wasn't like, oh, well, it's me. No one yeah. loves me. No one's here for me. I was just like, it is what it is. Yeah. I just work so fucking much. I was more tired than lonely. I was like, I'm fucking yeah. tired. But yeah, then, I mean, loneliness, yeah. that's. I feel like those are two different things. Freedom and loneliness don't yeah. necessarily. I don't know if the question just makes the most sense to me. Just because, like, like I said, I've never felt... And no offense to females, but I feel like that's more of a question for a female to answer because females can feel like lonely. I feel. Even I mean, with, I've said I mean, I, people feel lonely. Yeah, though, I felt lonely, but, but it's not them. like it's never been to like. I don't feel like nobody loves me, or like, you just kind of get to an understanding that people live their fucking life. Like, yeah, that's it. Like you're living your life. It's not like you're hitting up everybody in your life every day, and you know. Yeah vice versa not everybody you know the people that you care about are gonna hit you up every day just because yeah. the way that shit's built you gotta fucking go out there and get it and create I mean, a life I for yourself like for the most part at least you used to i haven't done it as much as of recent but i always used to hit everyone up like i would check i'd be the one always making sure everyone was good everyone yeah was see good. i'm not i'm i'm i try to get better at that and i have gotten better at that but you know it a great example is my older sister. She's the one that calls. She calls me, my younger sister, my cousin. She talks yeah, to my mom. Up. She's the girl. Yeah. So like. That's why and that's I, some, I was given the title. Other people are given that title when yeah. they're doing. 
which isn't a lot of work, but a little extra work than anyone else does. Yeah. But you start to realize once you get older that you know you do have to make an effort to yeah, talk to people and keep relationships going. Exactly. Yeah. Alrighty, on to the next one. Um, I'll go back up to the other one. Just and plus, I, I got Bear with me. I'm never lonely without Bear. Oh, this this is one you kind of we were talking about earlier. What defines a person? Their thoughts or their actions? Actions, baby. We've all had a thought or two that we wouldn't fucking say yeah, out loud, that, <laughs> or that honestly, we haven't acted on. Yeah, if if my like thoughts could, would come to like that would if we were be impulsive worst, people, yeah, that would be oh the my worst God. thing ever. If you don't know how many people I would like, fucking be punching in the face regularly. Mur- murder. <laughs> I would murder. regularly. I'd be, I'd be locked under the jail. I would, if all of my thoughts came true. Yeah, I would regularly be fucking hitting people in the fucking face, like yeah. you fucking dumb like, piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yep, because there's just some. Even today, I mean, like, I'm not even going to get into it. I'm, I just don't even want to. This man, he's going to fucking incriminate Goodness. himself premeditated. <laughs> no. But uh, If you don't anyways. see me pop up for the next couple of days. <laughs> for the next couple of episodes. No. Yeah, he's on uh, He's on vacation for a long time. I don't know what happened. 35 years. <laughs> Early chance. Damn, if they don't figure fucking that shit out, then but, uh, <laughs> they wanted me going too. Shit. Honestly. The higher ups, I know too much. If uh, all right, next question. Fuck it. If you can go back and tell your past self something, what would it be? Ooh, if I could tell my how far in the past are we going? As far as you want. As far as I want. You could pick whatever age you want to do it. Ooh, I don't know. I'll probably. I, I, I have an I, I have an idea in mind. Hmm. Granted, I say this knowing that I don't regret anything I've ever done in my life, but like also with that same in that same breath, I do wish I could have redone some things because it's like I could have shaped my life a little bit better. Yeah. Or it's like that meme. I'd have gone all the way back to 2008 and bought a house then <laughs> when I was. <laughs> it's like, why didn't you buy a house when the, fucking, yeah. <laughs> when the star or when the house market crashed? Twelve yeah. year old me. <laughs> yep, that shit's fucking hilarious. Those memes. Uh, fuck. Um, I don't fucking know. I'm in third grade. I should have been buying a house <laughs> for real. I don't know. I'll probably go back to like 13, 14 year old me and kind of just be like, listen, <laughs> talk myself up a little bit because I was. Like, that was around the time that, what, that was, like, high school. We're first getting into high school and shit, and, you know. Oh, you get into high school at, like, what, 14, 15? I think it's, like, 14, 15. Yeah. Cause you usually get your permanent freshman year. Yeah, so, and that was a, uh, I guess not really as much as my freshman. More my soft or sophomore, junior year. That was, a, for me, a rougher time as far as, like, you know, just figuring shit out, not really having anybody to like kind of look towards or anything like that. So just kind of like, you know, reassure my younger self, like, bro, trust yourself. You're doing you good. got You're this. Doing good. Yeah. I would say like the same, like I said, I don't regret anything I've done, but if I could go back, I'd probably go back to, I'd say like my ninth grade self, mm-hmm. like, because for, for, I mean, I, I had went. I skipped half of eighth grade and half of ninth grade yeah. and became, you know, a freshman in January. So if I can go back to like January, my freshman year, that's when I first got to Lake Howell. I'd be like, listen, like, I know you like to be a class clown, like to fucking, you know, <laughs> get by with whatever you can dedicate yourself. Let this four years or three and a half years that you have left be your hardest working years. And then I could have po- possibly gotten like a scholarship and shit yeah. like that. And then I'd also been like Stephen A says, lay off the weeds. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have probably not smoked. Uh, no, I probably would have still smoked. I don't know. I'd, that have, been, shit. I'd have been like, uh, hold off on that kid. Hold off on <laughs> Wait that. a few more years. Yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> you know, how you old were t- you when you started smoking? Well, like tried it or regularly? I guess tried it. About fourteen, fifteen. So it was like. Damn peer pressure! No, I'm just <laughs> Actually, I I went off on my own to do it. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I had seen it for years. South Seminole wasn't the greatest influence. Yeah, I mean, it was around like, me. It was around me for years. So I had seen it, kind of knew about it. Didn't know what the effects were. Didn't know how I would feel off of it or anything like that. But then, you know, went and tried it. And I was like, this is a fucking great time. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just, it's not that I was lazy, because I was never like a. 
that typical like cartoon stoner like but it's just like that. for and i mean i don't want to speak for you when i say this but i feel like it's probably pretty accurate like just school is not like school is just not it for us it was never it <laughs> like me. i'm not a I've school never, person i'm not a school person since i was in fucking first I, grade yeah i like I learning shit grade. i like I learning shit grade. but i like learning shit that i want to learn fuck all yeah. this fucking algebra bullshit fuck all this fucking chemistry shit like i don't I, what the yeah. fuck i know i'm not gonna ever use that ever in my nope. life because that is not me <laughs> i mean i have a degree in business management and like even half of i'm not gonna say all wasn't useful because there is some stuff that i learned in college that i do use you know or some practices where i did think were useful but a lot of that shit too i was even like i'm not gonna use this running a business i mean granted i guess it's to set you up for different businesses yeah. or to like I mean, school is always set up for to take you to the next level. Yeah. Like you get your, you know, associates to go on to your bachelor's. You get your bachelor's to go on to your master's. You get your master's to go on to your doctorate. Like it's always to set you up for the next step. It's not to necessarily like put you in a workforce or anything like that. Yeah. There is like AS is like um, associate. It's a so AA is associates in arts and a associate in science. It's like the a- AS that's supposed to be geared more towards like the workforce. Mm -hmm. Like basically you went to school, they see you could do it. You learn some shit, boom, you're out, you're working. That's pretty much it. But I just feel like if I could have went back to, like I said, if I can go back in time and tell my younger self, anything, it'd be, it'd be, like I said, January freshman year. and be like, listen, this next three and a half years, work your ass off, study, if you want to keep playing basketball, go as hard as you can. Like, that's your time. Like, go as hard as you can then. Because you're going to get tired and lazy later. So, do it now. <laughs> and, like, basically just really buckle down then. And then, hopefully, that would financially have set me up a little better. Yeah. Out of, out of high school, you know, I'd probably gotten into, a, like I said, a better college or maybe got scholarships. And I don't know about for basketball, per se. That would have been pretty cool. But even if it wasn't for, like, sports academically getting a scholarship would have been dope yeah. and then doing like oh i guess i would have you know stayed in college <laughs> you said it with like so much remorse like, uh, i don't oh, know if God, i'm reluctant telling, to say even it. telling my younger self i'd be like i'm sorry but you have to do this like nah, fuck that i'd give him advice on being like listen it's gonna suck don't get me wrong no i feel like you i mean you're on the right path as far as like telling them to as far as high school because at that age that's what you have to do essentially i mean you could drop out and start working but you know but it's kind of like i would i would reassure him as well yeah i mean like this is gonna be the easiest time of your life so fucking go hard now this is when you gotta go hard because after you graduate because i moved out before we graduated Mm mm-hmm I ended up moving back in because my mom was like, at least graduate from home. <laughs> and I was like, all right, that's fine. <laughs> so then I moved back into my mom's house. And then as soon as we graduated, moved out again. <laughs> so I was like, I was being stupid and, you know, spending money. and But I was working. Yeah. My uh, senior year, why I had so many makeup hours is I would skip so many classes. But it wasn't just for just to skip. Like, I would go open at Tomasino's. Oh, shit. The restaurant would open at 11. So I'd go to, like, first and whatever period, like first and fourth or first and third, whatever the fuck we had because we had block scheduling and then I would just leave. Hey, but that, listen, listen, that's the fucking beauty of it. You don't fucking need school. Stay in school, but guess what? If you have that work ethic and you fucking develop that at a young yeah, age, that's, that's, that's going to take you a lot farther in life yeah. than just graduating from high school, which I'm not saying don't we'll say go that. to school, yeah. but just that's a good place to develop that work ethic. Yeah, that's true too. But some I, people are naturally born with it. Some place, yeah, some I people was, have to develop it a little bit more. I was a born fucking a go getter, a born go getter. There go-getter. you go. There you go. Life so, is what you fucking make of it, it people. I, I'm not waiting out here for a handout. I'm not waiting for anyone to come save my ass. It's like get up, work hard every day, go do it. But I would just like I said, yeah. Going back, and tell my younger <laughs> self, go hard. You got this. And then if everything fell into place the way it did, I wouldn't. I still, like I said, I don't have any regrets in life. By any means. But I would just like to see how future Jacob <laughs> would have benefited from me <laughs> telling myself that. Oh, uh, shit. Here we go. All right. More of these thought-provoking questions. Um, is it justifiable to commit one crime to prevent bad things from happening? I mean, I guess anything's justifiable, but... Correct. 
my thing uh when i read this question or when i well i read it i didn't write that i didn't make that up <laughs> when i when i wrote it down though i was like well depends what we're preventing like if i'm killing somebody and that to prevent a hundred other people dying that's justifiable like is it still wrong yes am i going to be looked at bad probably but it's like in a court of law or under the eyes of god like i'm just like I know you're not supposed to kill anybody, but what if it was like guaranteed if I don't kill this person, this person's killing all these other people. So that's when it gets a little more into the gray areas. It's like what um, law or what, um, you know, what am I doing to prevent it basically yeah. or what is being prevented? Yeah. And that's, that was the first place that I went to. It was like, well, what if you're killing somebody to prevent someone from killing somebody else or, you know, in your yeah. case, a lot of people. Well, I mean, I mean, well, I but that's, and then that's when, you know, that's when you can justify it and people will. Yeah. I mean, and there's certain things that people will justify, like. It's like uh, justifying your family. Like if someone, if it was like someone breaks in, you kill that person or they kill your family. You're yeah. killing that person. Like yeah. it's like, it's like a no brainer to some people. But I feel like that question for others might be like, oh my God, no, but you can't kill anybody. Like if someone dies, that's, that's just how it's supposed to go. Which some people do believe that. Like yeah. everything in life happens for a reason. Yeah yes maybe but i'm still gonna be that person who who knows maybe i'll die in the process yeah maybe the crime is i died <laughs> like, <laughs> like they committed the crime of killing me when i was trying to pre- uh, prevent them from doing other crimes mm-hmm. like i don't know but i feel like that would be something i would that would be a risk worth taking if it's for you know at least in my eyes if it's to protect my family me dying doesn't scare me i mean me dying doesn't scare me at all anyways I've come to a point in my life where I'm just like, I mean, I'm not in control. Like <laughs> that shit's gonna happen. Yeah, <laughs> that shit is like, gonna happen. I've lived 28 years. They've been a good 28 years. Mm-hmm. Do I want to live more? Of course, I want to live another 70 fucking years. But if I don't, that's not my. That's not up to me. Entirely. I mean, I'll try to you know, <laughs> eat healthy, work out, do what I can. <laughs> fucking jumping off of bridges. Watch this. Yeah, I'm not just doing stupid shit <laughs> all the time. <laughs> But um, oh, I do want to go skydiving again. When? I don't know. But oh, enough, you, I thought you said you are going to go skydiving. Oh no, I said I I want to go skydiving again. That was fun. That was. Fun. I was just I was just on a bunch of roller coasters yesterday. Good old Universal. And, I, and it made me think of when, when <laughs> we were at SeaWorld and you were like, I got 15 left in me. And uh, that was the last time I went too. I'm not gonna lie though. I want to do. Granted, I don't think they could be that bad for you, if uh, people are you know on roller coasters yeah. like that. But don't that sh- that shit kind of was hurting my head a little bit after a couple of these roller coasters. Granted, I did you know have a shot, drink a beer, so I was like, eh, maybe it's because <laughs> of that. But I went on. Very first thing we did is ten forty five a.m. Took a shot of Crown. <laughs> ten, I'll say eleven, maybe like eleven. Was 15, the shot was a in the park? Right, right outside. It was on City Walk right uh, before we walked into Iowa. Did you have to buy the shot, or you got your own? Yeah, damn, how much were those shots? Uh, Dylan paid for them. Uh, they were like... <laughs> I was expensive. about to say, God damn. That's a way to start off your morning a fucking $20 shot. <laughs> probably. That's probably close to it. Oh, fuck. What's funny is they ended up having that to give me a bigger you. shot because <laughs> at uh, at the you know at the little bar kiosk we went to, they had already would pour one-ounce shots. It was mm-hmm. doing one-ounce stoppers. But Dylan got Patron and they didn't have that on it. Mm-hmm. So they poured more in his. And I was like... Fill me up. <laughs> Fit it. So we basically got, oh, I think man. we got a double for the price of a single, but. That's a way to fucking start your fucking morning. Yep. Fucking Straight shot of crown, no chaser. $80 on four the shots. is like. <laughs> nah, we only did a shot each and then we were. Yeah, that's four of you though, right? That's no, four. just me and Dylan. Oh. The girls were drinking Starbucks. Starbucks. I'm sure they paid fucking $10 each though for too. Real. But anyway, <laughs> so then we start first, very first ride, the Hulk front row. Fucking yeah, <laughs> and then like after I felt fine. Was there a lot of lines? Um, on some rides, like when we got to, so we went to the Hulk first, then we went to uh, a bunch of simulations like the Spider Man ride, yeah. uh, King Kong. <clears throat> um, where else? Where did we go to? I want a uh, Harry Potter simulation. That I'm not gonna lie, because I had just finished a beer after, but right before that one. Made me a little queasy. I was like, oh, <laughs> Jesus. But, um, so yeah, that was like, I think we did three straight simulations and then we did like a ride again. Oh, and then we did like the mummy. 
Did you go to Hall- or fucking Halloween Hogwarts? Yeah, went through Hogwarts. Rode the train from Iowa to Universal. Nice. And then um, did not Iowa rip, insurance rip ride, but Islands no. of Adventure. Iowa, shout out. My mother <laughs> works there. Um, but um, went to Rip Ride Rocket. What song did you pick? Well, for hip hop, their little genre hip hop, all they have is "Humble" by Kendrick Clean version. They don't they, have. They, they got took Kanye off the stronger fuck out of there. and <laughs> and fucking Black Eyed Peas they took off, off the- everything. Damn. That's literally the only humble clean version. I went to actually the dance music and I played um. What fucking song? Damn, was? they don't have fucking stronger. On- that was the. I mean, I did. I like stronger, but the don't funk with my heart, the Black Eyed Peas shit. That was. That was oh, fuck. I'm, I'm not gonna know what fucking song I picked. It was like a techno song though. I was fucking in there. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I haven't gone on that shit in fucking hot, hot minute. But I was in the very last row because I did single rider for that one. Mm. I was like, Damn. Damn, nobody yeah, wanted to time. go with you? No, it was just me and Dylan did single riders because the wait. Like, uh, I wasn't about to wait 30 minutes just to ride with Dylan. Like, I was like, come on, let's go single riders. <laughs> like, let's go do single riders. Bet. But yeah, it was fun time, fun time. But little, I was saying, the whole point that I even brought up for that <laughs> was I feel like they fucking, all those roller coasters have to be shaking your brain around a little bit. Bro, you're going pretty damn fast. You're going pretty fast. You're getting whipped like, around and shit. You're getting whipped around quick and you're like doing loop. Like, you do a couple loop de loops. You're like, do a loop de loop and pull. So, and your shoes are looking good. So it's like, I wonder if that's bad for you. Probably. But, you know. Can't be great for you. Well, then life isn't. <laughs> for real. That is a solid point there, compadre. Alrighty, back to these questions. We uh, got, we're like, a, we're like 41 minutes. Nice. So still got a couple more. Yeah, Same I know way. you wanted to go back to a question too. So, uh, yeah, I'll get to the eight. Alakazam, loop de loop. I think I'll save. Yeah, the best question is for last. I'll save that one. Um, do you think are we controlling technology or is technology controlling us at this point in the modern world? What are we considering technology? Like phones? I mean, games. Yeah. What well, is technology? Phones, games. That is technology. This is a phone. I mean, this is technology. Yes. Even early technology is just the first tools made. So I guess I use tools every day of my life. My drill? that's some type <gasps> of technology. How dare they? Well, it's not technical technology like fucking like a tech, techie, techie like shit. But phones. it is still. But I mean, think about technology. it. How how uh, screen time wise? I'm sure it's been up for you. This no, past yeah, because I've been fucking bedridden, laying in bed, but, fucking uh, contemplating life. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, would you think like? I think it's usually around like, I don't even, I can't even fucking tell you, honestly. My screen time is like, I think it's like around four hours. That's usually. for like the week, right? Or no, that's for, I think it's per day. I don't know. Because it's usually like 30, you're definitely on your phone more than four hours a fucking week. Yeah. I think point. you average like four to six hours a day, most people. Some people average more. I average like four hours. I'm on my phone, you know, quite a bit, but not. That that often, seven hours the past couple of days. Yeah, <laughs> but I've been in bed so. Um, today, for instance, this is today, right? I think so. Yeah, five, almost six hours. But what do they consider screen time? Like, That's just that the, the screen time. is on. Yeah, like you're. Well, because the there's sometimes because I don't have it to like if I keep my which I probably should change. If I, I have, have it. No, mine. If lock I, lock I have it, the, if I just put it down like this, my phone won't lock itself. No, my, and there's times that I'll just put my phone down and, and not close it, and it's just open. Oh. I'm just looking here, sitting, staring at the weather for fucking five hours. Yeah, but mine, <laughs> it shows like, it'll give me like. Oh, it'll give you, you a go fucking, the time and see what you're on. Breakdown. Like, how, how long? Downtime, downtime. Instagram, how long you're on. App limits. Damn, I haven't even really looked at this too much. Content and privacy restrictions, communication limits, communication safety, screen distance, reduce eye strain. Whoa. It even shows you what's the first thing you used after picking up your phone. Wow. Wow. Phones are so uh, smart. My daily average is actually only three hours and 36 minutes. There you go. There you go. And also sometimes do they count like playing music at screen time? Yeah. Like you going through your music, mm-hmm. mm, cause depends. Like, like if you're going through it, changing the songs, like music for today, for instance, I just put on a playlist, so it yeah. only says I was only uh, on Apple Music for five minutes. 
Because I only picked a couple songs yeah. and then I just went through Apple. Or then I just went to a playlist yeah. and I was like, fuck it, let it ride. So it only gives me five minutes. It didn't like, yeah. just because it was running, it didn't say I was actually on it, like in the background. Maybe I'm addicted to my phone. Aren't we all? Be careful. I don't know. So would you say technology controls us at this point? I feel like to an lo- extent. Yeah. I feel like it kind of does. I mean, and it's about to with Neuralink. That shit's gonna be in your brain, well, baby. That, that'd be a little crazy. But in I mean, your even, brain, even baby. going to like, I mean, I mean cars, technology. Now, yeah, true. Just us getting around. But even transportation. But even um, kids nowadays. Think Put about an it. iPad what, right in their yeah, face. Yeah. What kid do you know or like have seen that's not like have an iPad? And if you or, take like, it away from them, they'll fucking cry and. And which. Which I don't have kids, so I know this is just me talking shit out my ass because I don't know any better. But like, I try to claim that I don't want to do that. But then again, if that's the only thing that's keeping you sane, like a kid is just crying, and you're like, "Oh, this is just way easier." Punch him in the face. It's a lot harder to have up. to pick up your kid every time they cry, and like, you know, no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't fucking punch a child in the face, please. Well, that's uh, why you're not a father. <laughs> I would never. I would never punch a kid. Not a cute little baby. Not a baby. Maybe a little fucking shitty snot nosed five year old though. Boom. No punch. <laughs> no, that's an open hand. You fucking. I'm definitely. Man. That's always funny. The fucking how many, the kindergarten question. If there was like five kindergartners and you had to take oh, no, how many wa- how many waves of them can you take out or oh if it came in waves yeah. of five or like I, if I've it's like a like hundred the... kindergartners like how many of them could you take out or whatever yeah, the fuck all of them. <laughs> I, but I have seen those questions where it was like <laughs> how many rich. how many kindergartners yeah. would it be to take you down? Yeah. I feel like it'd have to be in the you know couple hundreds. If they're coming all at once, Oof, if they're coming all at once, that's gonna be hard. I'd have to fucking if they're like, coming all at once, bro. Twirl around with a bat for like, <laughs> like I don't know how many I could get. If they're coming all at up, once, it might be like up only pressure. like twenty or thirty of them because they're coming from all angles. Yeah, I guess. Shit. I and if they, I mean, if these are savage little fucking kindergartners yeah, and they're buying at your fucking ah, ankles and biters. fucking. <laughs> Yeah, I don't Rip know. out your fucking Achilles. Oh, Damn. Fuck. Bro, savage rough. little fucker. Yeah, rough. <laughs> My Achilles just started hurting. Like, oh, my God. Yeah. I've seen, that that question. I've seen that question before, they start though. start biting and ripping. And it's like, and oh, it fuck. Like, if you have a weapon or if you're using your bare hands, honestly. Cause and then you start picking them up and tossing them. Using them I would literally weapons. swing one around like a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I'd grab one by their ankle and just, <laughs> just use them as a human battering ram. <laughs> Damn. Just, hey, you got to do what you got to do. Be These kindergartners up. are vicious, all right? They are. They don't know any better. They're still trying to fucking figure out their ass from their elbow. <laughs> what the fuck what is, is that? that? Boom! <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Shit. I don't know. And I'm glad that no one will ever know the real answer to that <laughs> Bro, question. There's got to be a simulation. <laughs> there's got to be some type of simulation. Somebody has simulated this shit. That reminds me of... Uh, <laughs> Damn, what's uh, there's a page that I, I'll see sometimes on my uh on my explore page that it's a dude that puts it into a simulation and one of the last one that I saw was uh like a hundred thousand Jedi's versus like five million ostriches. <laughs> the Jedi's won, but like they lost like seven thousand fucking yeah. Jedi. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty funny. <laughs> Dumb shit like that, bro. Well that reminds me there was a, there used to be a show on Spike T V um the warrior show, the ultimate warrior, yeah, the fucking like, most deadliest. Most deadliest. Bro, warrior. that show was badass. That show was the shit. And yeah. it would like They ended up making sh- a game of that too. It would show a video game. I think you could still get it, but I think you have to like rent it. It's on like Amazon or some shit. But I did search it. Like you could you could still watch that show. Yeah, that's a they badass couple, show. Spike couple, used to be the fucking shit. Mancers. Honestly, Mancers was the fucking show. Thousand of Ways all shows. to Die. Thousand fucking. Ways to Die, I could have lived without. I, I watched it, it though, way fucking. too often. And I was like, oh, ah, God. Fucking, what's it called? It showed Deadliest the worst Warrior. Things. Deadliest Warrior, though, and Mancers. Mancers was the fucking Two shit. greatest shows ever. Probably shouldn't have been watching it at that age, but fuck shit, it. Shit, it gave me a lot of good answers. For real. <laughs> it was a great fucking show. Oh, man. Good times. Yeah. Simpler times. Mancers was ahead of its time. It sure was. They need to, hey, if they're, they're doing all these revamps and shit, revamp yeah, Mancers. for real. That's like the. Do something good for society for once. Honestly, How about that? How out. about fucking that? All right, let's um. What's next on the docket? What do you miss about your childhood? My answers. <laughs> no. What do I miss about my childhood? Fucking not knowing shit, <laughs> just living life as a kid. Just oh yeah, I'm not a having kid. any worries. Ignorance is bliss, baby. Yeah, I, I didn't say, know fucking anything, I would, and that was yeah. great. I would say just, uh, <laughs> just being dumb as shit. Yeah, just, just that freedom of like 
it the is only sense. worries I had was what time I got to get up the next day for school. <laughs> for After that, it's like play all day and what I'm gonna have for lunch. <laughs> what are they gonna eat? Yeah. Cheese what, dogs yeah, or fucking kind of PB and J's? <laughs> True. Yeah, good old being a kid. Yep, yeah, but that would be that's probably what I miss most as well is just like not having the, no fucking the innocence wo- of it. Like us not you don't know any better. So you're blinded to a lot of things. Yeah. Just yeah, for real, just having my whole day planned for me and everything being a new adventure. Everything is so fucking new. Like, yeah. oh, fuck. Like, like, yeah, that's what I mean. Just literally like yeah. the, the innocence. Because I did a lot of cool shit when I was a kid. But Same. like thinking back on it, it's like I'm glad I didn't know anything about it because it's like that have been sketchy as shit or like that. It, like yeah. certain things I did. Certain things were cool as fuck too. But like being a kid, I didn't as, like – really know how cool they were like um when i was a kid my dad had a good friend that was a boxing promoter Mm -hmm. so we would go my dad would take us a couple times like a month or maybe it was like a couple times like every couple months but we'd go to ringside boxing matches and i'd sit in like a vip ringside have like free wings there'd be like wing house or hooters girls everywhere there's ring girls and I'm just an innocent little kid. like I'm Fucking little boner. <laughs> well, no, not even. I'm, I was too young for that. Like, I was honestly like six, seven, eight years old. Like, I have a picture like this, like just like laid out yeah. where like five or six girls are carrying me. <laughs> and my dad thought it was like the coolest fucking picture. And I'm just like, all right, whatever. I'll take the picture. Not realizing like. I'm a G. Yeah. That's a cool ass fucking picture. Like when you get older in your life, you're like, oh my oh, God. Yeah, because they're not going to do that now. <laughs> yeah. No, what's funny though. Why I say innocence is bliss is fucking there was when I was in like I was in middle school by this time and a ring girl actually gave me her number mm, and like we would actually text and like it was her real number and like she had me on my space and fucking we would text Damn. and I was thinking about it like not too long ago and I was like that girl was creepy as shit like I was a kid and she literally would tell me oh you're so cute when you get a little older like this girl was literally she was to, grooming you dog yeah she I was, was like oh you. my god like thinking about that I was like <laughs> oh my god I was like <laughs> <laughs> oh my god bro she was grooming but you buddy it was like damn crazy world we live in hey but she was a predator bro but imagine what if she would have fucking sucked you off as a child, I don't know what I would have done. <laughs> oh, 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 fuck, what is going on? Yeah. <laughs> it's always like that. Uh, it's like the same thing about, you We've know. We've been getting a lot of high fives. Tell you <laughs> well, probably. But it's like that. It's like that fantasy. When you're when you're in school, you're always thinking about like, oh, getting with the teacher. Yeah. Until you realize when you're out of school how fucking, fucking weird, weird that, that would is, be. Yeah. You'd be like, that's a grown ass fucking person. You know, like I, you're a kid. Preying on my yeah. weak little mind. Correct. So it's just like, <laughs> you think like. You're just at that age. You uh, think it's cool, but it's like in reality, that's fucking. I mean, in reality, it would be weird, cool. but in reality, it also would would have been a little cool too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> just a little bit, just a little bit, but you know, whatever. Yeah. I've had other cool experiences that didn't involve getting sexual with a teacher. So there you go. Yeah, exactly. I've lived a pretty cool life, I would say. All right, for the final question, the last melon of this thought provoking. <laughs> Is this the oh. last one or the one that you're going back to or the yeah, last one? The last one. Like the, the one I'm going back to. Oh, last, shit. Last Here we go. If you were to die tomorrow. Tomorrow. What would you do on your last day? My last day. The last melon. Literally. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's what I say. Very thought provoking. I don't know. I guess just have a fucking party with all my people. Friends, family. Just send out a mass fucking invite to a lot of people that I care about that I would want to see, that I would want to say goodbye to, that I would want to get fucked up with. But that's the <laughs> before, thing. like Before would you, my last day. So Fuck. Might as well go out with a bang. would you let them all know that it's your last day? Or would you be I mean, how else am I going to gather or, everybody? True. True. <laughs> Especially but on such short time, notice. <laughs> I, I guess you're right. But at the same time, Unless, you wouldn't want your last day to be spent with nothing but like people crying and shit. I'd no, be like, oh, come on. Why are you doing that? I'm still here. Like, I die tomorrow. Like, <laughs> don't cry yet. <laughs> so it's like, you know, like I, I do get what you're saying, though, because like how would well, you I get guess, them all to can come? Well, I guess can we put our own uh, technicalities on this? So like so can, no, if it's the last day presence? and I have a day to plan it and like get everything set up to how I want it to be. Then, yeah, I'll fucking get a big venue. They don't have to know. Just say it's a fucking party for whatever reason. 
fucking <laughs> that'd be a hell of a mic drop too at the end of the party be like see y'all, y'all. never <laughs> 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 literally just fucking, fucking Tony Stark fucking Spider-Man and this bitch disappear <laughs> like oh have shit fucking, have fireworks go off in the club and you just fade off into the distance <laughs> oh my Done. god that would be the Go most on. G shit ever yeah, oh that's my funny. god that yeah that's funny. how I would do it that's how I would do it get a big fucking venue <laughs> I am iron <laughs> boom <laughs> fucking funny. poof on out of here like a magic trick and yeah. just never no I mean that would be I'm not but real, though, that'd like, be a great way to have my it. fucking all my family all my friends have people that i never would i would have thought of had in one room together that i'll fuck with i love them they love me and all that shit and right. and just having fucking have a baller time have fucking weed have fucking drinks do some fucking mushrooms fucking hang out fucking talk some shit day, might as well i know go fuck i'm probably gonna fuck a little <laughs> get with fuck with your hair go off and duck off in the back room fucking just live a fucking have a hell of a time and then go out with a bang yeah i would say i'd be similar fashion uh probably not a club though i'll probably get like a big ass house mansion with a pool or like Airbnb yeah i would shit. definitely want like a I was going to say, like, have a pool kind of setting, like a slip and slide or maybe a bounce house. Yeah, it'd be like, lit. It'd be fucking crazy, lit. crazy kind of time like that with pretty much all my family, friends. Um, you know, if granted, I don't know what age I would be or when this would well, happen. Tomorrow. No, well, tomorrow. It's tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Well, I know it's for your last day. But <laughs> he said, if tomorrow's your last day, plant my on seed. a Tuesday. <laughs> There you go. Le- leave it. Leave it. The, leave the kids in this the world. The fucking reason we're alive. <laughs> reason we're alive. My kids. It all comes full circle. So, all but comes yeah, full I would, circle. I would definitely have a big ass banging party with all like my friends, family, my girlfriend, her family, fucking just They're everybody. Just everybody. Literally everybody. Mass invite. Even people I don't fuck with. Come on. Yeah. This is all all nah, free. I wouldn't want that. No, fuck no that. bro. I mean, there's no there's. At this point in my life, there's, like, nobody that I don't like. Well, like, there's no one that I don't fuck with, but at the same time, I wouldn't want... If it's my last day, like, I only know I have literally 24 hours and that's it, I would prefer it to be, like, my... Not, like... I'd be basically, like, everyone who came for my birthday, plus, you know, a yeah. couple more. That's it. Like, I wouldn't have, like, ungodly amount of people that I don't even talk to. Like, I would just want my close friends and then, like, my family. Uh, I think I would invite a lot of people. Lot, just I mean, throughout my not a lot of people it's a lot of people like throughout my life that i've had connections I mean, yeah, with there were people i would fuck with that weren't there but at the same time i was like fuck it I, all right maybe like 50 to 100 plus people fuck it and then family people that i've had connections with that i feel but pe- even if it wasn't a, like a, it was more impactful on my life than it was on their life Bro, it's my last day. It's like, hey, like I just want to let you know, like maybe you didn't fuck with me that much, or maybe I did you wrong, or maybe whatever reason, right whatever all your, reason. Right all your wrongs. Not even that. Just be like, I fucked with you. Like I appreciate you. I appreciate yeah. the impact that you had on my life. Like I appreciate yeah. this, whatever. And they're like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. And I was like, bitch, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Boom! Fireworks. <laughs> oh shit. Well, damn. What a way to fucking end this wonderful podcast. Thanks, man. What a fucking like, way. I'm glad you like the thought-provoking questions I put You need to post some of these on the fucking story and see what people say. Oh, my thought-provoking questions? Yeah. Get some replies? Yeah. See what people say? Fuck. Oh, you got some time on your hands this week. <laughs> <laughs> when you see these questions, Eric posted them. I'll get back to it next week. Oh, uh, shit. But, um, that's great. This is episode 180. 180 in the fucking books. We're going out with a bang. 200. 200. We coming for you. Damn, what are we gonna do for two hundred? I don't know. Well, get hopefully we we've got a fucking. We're hopefully we can get a special guest, maybe two special guests. Hopefully we got fucking different environment that we're into. Uh, we would by then. Yeah. yeah, so we could we'll be able to do something a little bit more extravagant, yeah. bring several people on, rotate them out like we did for one hundred. Yeah, could do something like that. Maybe fucking old faces will make an appearance. Oh. Hopefully. Foreshadowing. Dun, dun, dun. But with that being said, everybody love everybody. See y'all next week. Peace. Deuces.